Pull up to door swerve. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull yeah. up. Ay, pull up to door swerving. Sk Back in the day, I was worthless. Started from the surface in the middle of the desert with a wetter, hotter enough to break a motherfucking thermos, nigga. Ay, look at the flick of my yeah. wrist. Won't forget Yo, what's going on guys, back here with another episode of Copper Flop, where we review new content in NBA 2K19, and today, Friday, we were expecting anniversary Pink Diamond Anthony Davis, and well, 2K being 2K, didn't, didn't get that, I guess it was all speculation, but hey, I'll take a new moments Pink Diamond Kyle Kuzma and LaMarcus Aldridge, I'll take that, and as well as go over here to galaxy opal rewards we got a new galaxy opal james worthy that you can redeem if you have 750 tokens which as you can see i i do not have 750 tokens i don't even have the pink diamond board unlocks but this card looks amazing we'll start with this one first i really wish i could get him i doesn't look like i'll probably be getting him um unfortunately i love james worthy big game james but this card is an absolute beast six foot nine you could run the three or the four Honestly, with these stats, probably could go anywhere, but great driving layup, post fadeaway, has post hook, he has post moves, he can pretty much shoot all, he has the mid-range, 90 open shot 3, he has a great release, I know, um, 88 free throw, crazy dunking stats, all 95s, can speed boost with an 86 overall ball control, uh, 75 block, which is kind of low, 97 shot contest, the steal is kind of weird too, I feel like that should be higher for a Galaxy Opal, but the rebounding's insane, all 96. Um, speed the ball 83, probably could use a diamond shoe there, but 90 speed, 90 strength, and then the defense and offensive consistencies there, as well as the defensive stats. And then going up to the tendencies, he has 100 driving dunk and flashy dunk tendencies and 85 standing. So this guy's going to be dunking like crazy. Of course, he has 99 system proficiencies. He better if he's a Galaxy Opal. And then the badges here, 16 Hall of Fame badges, one man fast break, chase down artist, defensive stopper, up and under special, drop stepper, difficult shots, pick and popper, post spin technician, relentless finisher, tireless score, tech and shoot, pick and roller, lob city finisher, post riser, put back king, acrobat, and yeah, I can't believe I just said all that without messing up, but he has a lot of them. He has a gold brick wall, corner specialist, rim protector, he has all the badges you need really except for limitless range, and then you can throw some more on him, uh, yeah, like to fill, him, fill out the rest, because if you're going to spend that much money or time you don't have to worry about spending money on the extra badges so anyway beast of a card will i ever get him probably not but definitely a nice alternative to wilt chamberlain if you even get to this this point as you can see four people have redeemed him at the point of me making this video it's a little late later than i wanted to make this video but things happen but anyway let's get into the new moments cards and they're not too bad there's a new uh what teams do you play for the sixers uh Landry Shemit, um, maybe a budget card. I don't, I don't really. I wouldn't even consider a budget card because he's not the best. But maybe a great offline card doesn't cost a lot of contracts. Not good on defense, but I'm sure he has good shooting. Yeah, 92-3, good free throw, can dunk, can't speed boost, but defense is not very good. But just a really good offensive budget shooting guard. How tall is he? Six five. So you know, a budget shooting guard, but you know great for collector's levels as well glad they added him um and then getting into they have a diamond russell westbrook which this card not gonna lie look at this ending at 20k that that's crazy for a diamond westbrook but not a great three ball with a 65 he has the mid-range the draw foul is low this card not gonna lie this card's really really bad uh <laughs> I mean, if you're a Westbrook fan, it's better than nothing, but he has great passing, of course, and ball control because he dropped like 26 assists last night. The defense is okay, but it's super athletic, not really there for the three ball. Um, I don't know. I mean, his price really reflects how good this card is. I mean, if, if you're a skilled user and, you know, you diehard Westbrook fan, you'll make it work, but nothing too crazy here. I expect a, a better one to come out, or there'd, there'd definitely be a better one, so... I might just hold off for that because I usually like using Westbrook cards. And then let's go to the next card, which this is my favorite. I, I want to play with this guy. 200K he's going for right now. Or at least those two. I see him dropping around 100K by now. Or maybe a little above that. But Pink Diamond, Kyle Kuzma. 98 offense, 90 defense. Let's look at his Hall of Fame badges first. Frontless finisher, acrobat. And then he has all the shooting badges except for limitless range, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then some other gold badges there. It's not too bad, but his stats are really nice as well. He has a fadeaway, a post hook, post control, nice driving layup, mid range, 88 open shot three, 80 free ball, free ball, 
free throw. Uh, the dunking's there, which is nice. Can speed boost at an 86, so he can play the small forward for sure. The defense is tolerable. I mean, the shotgun test is nice, but the block and steal aren't the best. Rebounding's kind of low for Kuzma since he plays at the power forward. But again, in the game, I don't think he got many rebounds, if any. <laughs> I know he didn't get any assists, so um, speed of the ball 78, definitely had a shoe to him. Uh, 87 speed, verticals there, and then the defense consistency is 85, not too bad, and then 90 offensive consistency. So this guy's going to be a beast just offensively. And then let's look at the the dunking. I, I, I definitely passed him. Let's go up. 95 driving dunk tendency, 90 flashing dunk, so not too bad. He'll be dunking a good amount, and then just going to be a beast offensively. So cool that they added a pink diamond Kyle Kuzma. I never thought I would see a pink diamond Kyle Kuzma this year, but glad they have him. And then let's go to the final pink diamond and moments card of the day. Pink diamond Marcus Aldridge. This card, I was wa I watched this game live, went into double overtime. Marcus dropped a career high and well deserving of this card. He made every free throw, 16 of 16, which you'll see in his free throw, 98 free throw. Uh, but the mid-range is there. Mark Soldier's known for his mid-range. Um, post control is there. Great fadeaway of 98. Wow. 90 driving layup on a power forward, which is nice. 70 open shot three. So he didn't hit a three in the game or he didn't shoot any. So I mean, 70, that's fine, I guess. Um, he can hit it if he's open, I'm sure. He has a he has the base 11, or yeah, base 11 and Marcus Aldridge base are the same, so has a good release. Um, maybe they're not the same. I, th I thought they were the same, but maybe it's been a while since I played my career. But anyway, passing's oh, not the best, but that's okay. The defense is great. He had four blocks, so 97 block, 97 shot contest. The steal's not there. Uh, the rebounding's okay. Uh, box out 94, speed 70, which kind of expected on the Marcus Aldridge card. Not the most athletic. 95 strength. Ladder quickness is really slow, but he'll get the job done, I'm sure, on the offensive side of the ball. And then let's go look at the Hall of Fame badges, which mid-range Jedi, pick and popper, and pick and roller. That mid-range Jedi is going to be great for posting up and doing post fades and just post step backs, all that type of stuff that Marcus Aldridge does. And then he has rim protector defensive stopper, which is nice. Hustle rebounder. And did he have catch and shoot? I'm pretty sure he did. Yep. So that's Nice card here. Would I pay 100k? No, and it doesn't look like anyone else would. So definitely pick up this card, maybe for 70k, 80k. Or I'd, I'd pay. I myself, I'd pay 70. Maybe he'll go a little bit lower, but just with the pink diamond on him, he'll probably stay around 100k, 90, 80, 80, 90 to 100k. So yeah. Uh, don't think there are any more moments cards for the day, but yeah, I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited they added a new token player to the market hopefully 2k does that more in the future uh i don't really see them adding a diamond player maybe a pink diamond but they definitely need to utilize this token thing more because i know a lot of people once they get wilt they don't know what to do with the tokens so yeah glad 2k did that glad they have content was it anthony davis no but i am 99 percent sure we'll be getting an anniversary player next week so be on the lookout for that guys i'll make a video and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I appreciate all the support um, coming back. Thank you guys for all the support recently. I've noticed it coming back, doing better than I thought, and I just really appreciate it, guys. So, especially if you made it this far in the video. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.